I'm just going to show you some of the features of Buffer that I really like and I think makes it a really useful tool. So the first thing is, if I find a blog post that I like, I can, I can share it really quickly. I just click the Buffer extension, which you can download for Google Chrome, then you make a Buffer account. And then what I'll do is you can get this box and you can fill it out however you want. Add, add a hashtag, completely change this. Um, usually you'll want to keep the link that you get um, or else people won't be able to click to the link. Um, this is, uh, we have ours connected to Bitly, so this automatically makes a special shortened URL for us. So you can add pictures, you can post to multiple channels. With Facebook, you have to fill out its own uh, comment spot, um, and you, but you can add as many as you want. You can also schedule, just schedule a post, or you can share right now. Maybe you don't want to add it to the queue. I'll talk about the queue later. Um, and yeah, that's it. Another great feature I like about Buffer is sharing images makes it really easy because almost every image will get when you have the extension will get this share image box so you just click that and we don't need this um, we don't need to go to the Google search but you can fill this out however you want and then choose the channel and then it'll share that image and you don't have to download the image you don't have to screenshot it it's really nice um, finally, there's the Buffer app itself. So you log into the Buffer app and you have content right here and queue. And so your queue is are basically slots that it'll fill up uh, when you add things to the queue. Uh, so these will be shared next at 2 p.m. today. This post that I shared will, will go out on Twitter. Um, the other channels have their own. And so uh, I, I made these time slots myself because uh, they're when our followers tend to be on. But the more stuff I add, it'll just continue to fill these up. And I can come back here and change these if I want. Um, maybe I want this to go up at 12 instead of 9. And then uh, last feature is the RSS feed. So we added a bunch of... Uh, blogs and content creators that we value and appreciate and tend to have good content and then we can just add them um, as well so how to describe your startup job to grandpa when he doesn't use the internet okay that sounds kinda interesting I'm gonna I always recommend checking out the the post before you share it and reading it um, anyways so then I'll go push add and it'll automa automatically make that link, our shortened bit.ly link. And then, yeah, I can just adjust this just like um, earlier. And then I can add it to the queue. And that's about it. Uh, hope you enjoy.